Have you ever played an old CS and wondered to yourself what is up with these weapon names? I mean, what is a CV-47? Why is there a Magnum sniper rifle? And where does a Nighthawk .50C come from? I have answers to all of these in this video, so please, if you would excuse my terrible pronunciation, we can begin. The 9x19mm sidearm, better known as the Glock, is the starting weapon of the terrorists. I'm unsure of the exact type of Glock pistol the weapon is modeled after, but it's most likely a Glock 17. 9x19mm stands for the caliber of bullet this gun fires and it's called a sidearm because, well, it's a sidearm. The KNM.45 Tactical is known as the Heckler & Koch USP Tactical in real life. Its name in game references H and K by giving the weapon the KNM prefix. Why KNM? I don't know. They are kind of close on the keyboard, I guess. Point .45 stands for point .45 ACP, which Counter-Strike's USP is chambered in. As for the word tactical, it's just the same as the real thing. The gun also comes with a detachable suppressor and it is the starting weapon of the counter-terrorists. No firearm in video game history is as forgettable as the 228 Compact. In real life it's known as the P228 and it's a compact version of the P226 pistol, which would explain the in-game name. Uh, yes, nothing really interesting about this one. And now we come to the most iconic pistol of all time, only rivaled by the M1911. The Nighthawk .50C is, of course, a Desert Eagle, often abbreviated as the Deagle by CS players. The name the developers gave it, Nighthawk, refers to a bird much like the real gun. The end of the name is fairly straightforward. .50C is supposed to represent the caliber, which is .50 Action Express. I think I hear the 90s knocking on my door, they must be carrying the .40 Jewel Elites. If you want to rain double portions of lead on people, you're going to have to play as a terrorist. These pistols are based on the Beretta, most likely the 96 variant, and this reflects in the mess of a name. .40 is the caliber of the Beretta 96. However, the pistols use the 9x19mm Parabellum caliber in-game, like the 92G Elite, which is also probably where it takes the Elite's part from. The term Jewel simply refers to them being dual wielded. The ES57, what a cool gun! A CT exclusive based on the FN57, FN being a Belgian company with a French name which I will not attempt to pronounce. As with the USP, the manufacturer's name is turned into a fictional one, being ES. Again, my only attempt at explaining this is that these letters are close together on the keyboard. The actual name of the gun stays the same, which is quite interesting. From pistols to shotguns. Starting with the Leone 12 gauge Super, this beast is based on the Benelli M3 Super 90, which is made in sunny Italy, the home of other iconic shotguns such as the Spes 12. Fun fact, the in-game version is a fictionalized mess having a made-up perforated heat shield, a non-functional flashlight in the forehand and the N249 rear iron sight. I guess it's just reused due to its similar look to the M3 sight. Now to the name. Leone is an Italian word meaning lion. How intimidating. 12 gauge refers to the shell the weapon fires and uh, super probably just refers to the super 90. On to the auto shotgun, which nobody in the history of this game referred to by its name, but here goes. The Leone YG1265 auto shotgun. Terrible tongue twister, that thing. This firearm is based on the Benelli M4 Super 90. The name Leone represents the company here too. A huge clump of letters and numbers in the middle, it's probably referring to the US military prototype designation, which is XM1014. If it sounds familiar, it's because this is what the weapon is called in CS2. The auto shotgun part refers to its automatic mode of fire in Counter-Strike, although in real life the weapon is only semi-automatic. 
Moving on to the third category of weapons, here come the submachine guns. First on the list is the Schmidt machine pistol, better known as the TMP by the players. More precisely, it's called the Steyr Tactical Machine Pistol, or TMP for short. It might seem oddly familiar and that's because it's the precursor to the MP9 featured in CS2. The company Steyr is represented as Schmidt, other than that the rest of the name is similar and only dropping the word tactical. Also, this is a city exclusive gun and features a non-removable silencer. The terrorists also have a compact bullet hose at their disposal. It is of course the Ingram Mac 10. In real life it's only known as the Mac 10 or an M10 if you're from the company that used to manufacture it, Military Armament Corporation. If you were wondering, the weapon was banned from use in 1994, making it perfect for terrorists with shady supply lines. So, where does the word Ingram come from? Well, it's the surname of the Mac 10's designer, Gordon B. Ingram. Next up, the most iconic SMG of all time. If you haven't already guessed, it's the KNM submachine gun. Based on the iconic HNK MP5, there's really not much to say here. The KNM company returns as a replacement for HNK and submachine gun is just the category of weapon the MP5 belongs to. How original I know. In the developer's defense though, if you are going to name an SMG the SMG, you might as well do it for the most iconic one. Surprisingly, the KNM UMP45 is quite close to its actual name. Of course, the manufacturer is actually called H&K, but otherwise it's accurate. Fun fact, the UMP actually doesn't come with the vertical foregrip from factory, but at this point it's so iconic that even the Wikipedia page for it has a picture sporting the iconic thing. Last but not least in the SMG category is the ESC90. Being based on the FNP90, it seems that the devs just changed the letter and called it a day. ES also returns from 5.7, being Counter-Strike's version of FN. The fourth category of firearms in CS is the rifles. Kicking it off with the city exclusive Clarion 5.56. This gun is known as the FAMAS in real life and being of French origin, the long form of the FAMAS's name is quite unreadable. Clarion refers to the nickname that French soldiers call it, which is... Le Clairon. Which is translated as Clarion or Bugle in English. Apparently, the FAMAS looks similar to this instrument. Uh, well, anyway, 5.56 just refers to the caliber it's chambered in, that being 5.56 NATO. Next up, the T counterpart to the FAMAS. It's the IDF Defender, of course, better known as the IMI Galil. IDF stands for Israeli Defense Forces, which is the name of the military of Israel, the country where the Galil is made. The word Defender doesn't seem to be a reference to any real-life gun, but my guess is that it's referencing Hostage Mode, which was the first ever game mode of Counter-Strike, where the terrorists have to defend their positions around the hostages. Next up, our first sniper rifle, the Schmidt Scout, of course. This funky looking weapon is called the Steyr Scout in real life. The CS nomenclature follows that of the TMP again, with Schmidt just being a stand-in for the real-life company Steyr Arms. Both of these are German words by the way, as Steyr is based in Austria, a German-speaking country. Oh yes, finally, a proper gun. The Maverick M4A1 carbine is based on the real-life Colt M4A1 carbine, an iconic AR-15 rifle. M4A1 is the fully automatic version of the M4, and carbine means it's a shortened version of a long rifle. As for Maverick, I googled the word and apparently it means A person who thinks and acts in an independent way, often behaving differently from the expected or usual way. 
I don't know, I guess the M4 is just built different. Apart from having a detachable silencer, it's also a CT exclusive. Sure, the M4A1's alright, but this next gun? This is the ultimate automatic rifle and the most produced gun in the world. And not to mention an iconic bad guy weapon as well. You already know what I'm talking about. It's the AK or the CV-47 in Counter-Strike. Obviously the devs just changed the letters, but what do they mean? Well, my only theory is that they are referencing Ctrl C and Ctrl V, but it's probably just random. I mean, they are right next to each other on the keyboard. The Bullpup, real name Steyr AUG, is the first scoped rifle here. The name Bullpup refers to this pretty thing's design. A bullpup firearm has the trigger in front of the breech, allowing the whole gun to be shorter while still having a decent barrel length. But what even is a bullpup, you might ask? Well, according to Wikipedia, in the years 2019 and 2020, British firearm expert Jonathan, Jonathan Ferguson, Ferguson, the keeper of firearms, firearms and artillery at the, at the Royal, Royal Armory Museum, Museum in the UK, found out that the term is short for bulldog puppy which this type of weapon was referred to in England in the 30s because both them and the puppies were quote squat, ugly but still aggressive and powerful. Next on the list is the second of the two scoped rifles, the Krieg 552. Based on the SIG SG-552 Commando, which is a shortened version of the SG-550, we'll come back to that one in a minute, the devs just copied the number and used the German word Krieg, meaning war, instead of SIG. Now, we come to one of gaming's most iconic sniper rifles. One of gaming's most iconic sniper rifles. It is the Magnum sniper rifle known by all as the AWP. The gun is based on the Accuracy International Arctic Warfare. Despite being referred to as the AWP, where the P stands for police, it is not quite the same as the police variants tend to have their receivers painted black, as well as having shorter barrels and not actually being chambered in .338 Lapua Magnum like the in-game version is. But that's me getting sidetracked once again. The Magnum probably refers to the .338 Lapua Magnum cartridge name. Why it's also called a sniper rifle, it's quite obvious. We have just two rifles to go and they are both fully automatic sniper rifles. First here is the Krieg 550 Commando. In reality it's called the SIG 550 with its nomenclature being identical to the Krieg 552. Why it got the suffix Commando I have no idea since that's associated with the real life SG 552. Also despite the SG 552 being a T weapon this one is reserved for the good guys only. The last rifle on the list is the terrorist auto sniper, the D3-AU-1. Sounds like the name of one of Elon Musk's children. It's based on the HNK G3. Honestly, it seems to me like Lee and Cliff closed their eyes and measured the buttons on the keyboard to name this thing. Then again, that's what HNK seemingly did as well when you look at some of the G3 sub variants, such as the G3A31, G3KA4 or G3KA4A1. At last, we come to the final firearm of Counter-Strike 1.6, the M249. And really, it's a rather easy explanation. The gun in real life is called the M249 SAW, which, if you wondered, is the US military's version of the FN Minimi machine gun. Did you think we were done? We've still got the equipment to cover. Kevlar is the name of a bulletproof vest you can buy in CS. 
in reality. Kevlar is the name of a fiber which is used to make extremely strong but light materials suitable for bulletproof vests. A helmet just refers to the bulletproof helmet you can buy in CS. The flashbang, HE grenade and smoke grenade models are all based on the M7A1 Riot CS grenade. If I had to guess, the devs chose this model not because it's got CS in its name, which by the way stands for a chemical compound by the name of 2-chlorobenzylmelanonitrile, but because it was easy to model with strict polygon limits. The CS compound is a gas which irritates the respiratory tract, potentially causing nausea, vomiting and incapacitation. Also, if you didn't know, HE stands for high explosive. The defusal kit is represented by a small pouch and wire cutters in the buy menu. It aids the CTs by cutting the time to defuse a bomb in half. The night vision goggles are a type of goggles for... Um, seeing at night, I guess? I don't know. The Wikipedia has this to say. The Counter-Strike series incorrectly combines night and vision into a single word when referring to the night vision goggles. Lastly, there's the tactical shield. More commonly referred to as a ballistic shield in real life, its name is quite self-explanatory. This baby has earned the reputation of being incredibly unfun to play with and against. You can block all bullets with it, while being able to use pistols, the knife and grenades. A cool detail when using a grenade with the shield is that you pull the pin out with your teeth. And still, there are two more items in this game. The C4, which is usually just referred to as the bomb by in-game announcers and players, is used by the terrorists to blow up one of the bomb sites. C4 is actually a real-life plastic explosive, which is based on this thing called RDX. It's a highly explosive chemical compound, also used in the Semtex explosive. And now, put your hands together for the one and only knife. This old icon is based on Mick Strider's Badlands buoy or Valkyrie Recurve buoy. In reality, it's even bigger than the already long blade of CSE's model, but retains the iconic shape and unique pattern on the edge. Well, this took longer to make than I thought it would, and the video is also a lot longer, but I quite enjoyed the process. And I'm interested about facts like this, so I probably will make more. So if you are into this, you should stay tuned for more and I will see you some other time. Counter Strike, Counter Strike versions, Counter Strike. A chemical compound by the name of 2 chlorobenzyl chemical compound by the name of 2 chlorobenzyl malonon